Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Now today I have a vlog for you. Um, I'm going to be visiting London for the day with my sister-in-laws and my nieces. So I thought I'd record it and take you guys along with me. So I hope you really enjoy it. Um, but basically, we did have Hamilton booked and we did want to go to the Shards to have afternoon tea. Um, just because it's my sister-in-law's birthday. Uh, well, it was her birthday in May, but we're celebrating it now. We planned it thinking COVID would have settled by now. Um, but yeah, so we wanted to have afternoon tea at the Shah's, but they unfortunately never opened up for bookings and Hamilton canceled the event like two, three weeks ago. So we've managed to make last minute plans. Got some see. What is it? Oh, a bee. Oh, it's a letter B, yeah. You're gonna take it inside. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So me and him woke up um, around seven, um, and we just had breakfast, and I've just been tidying up. He's just been playing. He's just been playing. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go and get ready. Get him ready. He's gonna be spending the day with Baba. Yeah. You're going to go see Gita? Gita. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then I'm going to head off, so I'll catch you all soon. Bye, say bye, Kassim. Bye, Kassim. So today I have decided that I'm going to wear some eyelashes. These are the eyelashes I'm going to wear. I've actually lost the box. Um, but these eyelashes are amazing. Um, and I thought it's worth sharing it with you guys. Um, so basically I got it from this company called union no sorry unicorn lashes and they're really good because on their website it tells you what type of eyelashes suit what type of eyes so um they consider your shape of eye and things like that and then tell you whether the eyelashes would actually um suit you i really love um all their lashes because they have loads of like fluffy eyelashes so i think these are called not these ones maybe yeah, 3D um, lash. So they're very, very fluffy, lightweight. Um, and yeah, they are, you know, fairly priced as well. Um, so I'm going to be wearing these today. And then on their website, they also sell this glue, uh, which is one of my favorite glues. Uh, I think I've bought like three of these, even though I don't really wear lashes that often. Come on, focus. Yeah, eye charm. So even though I don't wear eyelashes that often, I do always like lose this for some reason because I'll pop it in my bag whenever I go out, whenever I'm wearing lashes and a lot of the times I kind of lose it. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd let you guys know about these. I will link them down below for any eyelash loving girls out there. Hey guys, this so, is yeah. what I'm going to pack with me today. I've got quite a few bits and bobs, but I'm, t I'm taking my backpack so it's okay. Um, last time I went to London, I had like really bad blisters and these are the only plasters I have in the house So I'm just taking two of these um, I also want to show you this um, About two weeks ago I went to Zara and I wanted to buy like a vanilla fragrant um, Perfume and I bought this small one for six pounds just because they didn't allow me to test anything So I thought if I don't like it, it's only six pound and it's just a small bottle So it's fine. I can just pass it on but it turned out really nice. It's it's called. I need to stop moving it around. So gonna focus, focus. It's called red vanilla, anyways. Um, really good. So I've got my makeup bag, purse, glasses, chargers for my camera and laptop, and then of course my laptop and some chewing gum and my headphones. So yeah, I'm gonna put everything in here. So guys, I'm dressed and I'm ready, and I'm just waiting for my sister-in-laws to pick me up. Um, I've got my Tardrasi um turban on. Um. I grow to love it every day even more and more um but yeah it's just really convenient and it kind of matched my whole outfit so yeah so i'm just outside because i realized that i had to go and pick up a card for my niece um so i've quickly gone to tesco and now i'm back and instead of going inside and unsettling class i've decided i'm just gonna wait outside uh, for my lift but yeah, um, my niece is going to study in London and so we're going to be dropping her off today. 
um, and I think about two weeks ago they did like a farewell party and it and I kind of found out last minute um, it was my fault because I didn't check my phone like I got the message the day before but I didn't see the message until like two hours before the party so I didn't get a chance to get her anything so I just grabbed her a card and I'm gonna put some money in uh, from me and Yasa so yeah right catch you soon uh, So guys, we're finally in London. It took us ages to get down. Uh, the traffic was mad. But yeah, we're finally parked up. We're gonna meet the rest of the girls and then head over to the art gallery. So I'll catch you all soon. Bye. dinner and unfortunately we've not been able to go and visit uh, the art museum um, so instead we're gonna go to the Emirates skyline and go on one of those cables and yeah and then do some uh, bike riding and then call it a day but yeah I'll keep you all updated and I'll make sure I include videos and things like that so I'll catch you all soon bye So we haven't had a chance to go back riding, but that's fine because it's getting late already. Oh, there's a cage. Okay, where's the door? Where's your house? Let's go back in. There's a cage. Okay, did he just let it out to go to the toilet or something? There's no dog. Anyways, so as I was saying, uh, we're just dropping off uh, stuff for my nieces who are moving to London. Um, so yeah, just dropping off some stuff and then we're gonna head home. So, um, I think I'm gonna wrap up now, I think. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this vlog, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all really soon. Bye. Hi guys, so not the end of the vlog. Um, I realized it was quite a rush to ending um, and you guys deserve better than that so I'm back here to end my vlog properly so um, it's about eight o'clock Carson's had his breakfast he's just watching TV Whoa. Oh, I nearly dropped it by the way yeah I keep my moisturizer in my fridge just because I always struggle with my morning face like it's so obvious I'm just walking up and I feel like the cold cream just shocks my face into waking up um so yeah day cream i just pop it in the fridge this is the super drug vitamin e and this stuff is amazing so for the longest time i have been using their super drug um vitamin e um mist um which is i use it as a setting spray and because i've also got like dry skin i use it to hydrate my skin 
so I picked up some more about two weeks ago and they had enough for us. I thought let me just let me try their other range, um, like their other products in their range. So I picked up this moisturizer, vitamin E. It's got SPF 15 and it's just day cream. Uh, for normal to dry skin and this stuff has been amazing i've also picked up uh their like night cream which is like a really intense hydrating serum cream that you just put on uh, that's been really good to my skin as well i bought the super drug uh, lip balm amazing like i've not yet come across any product in that range that hasn't worked so well for me and the best thing about it is they're so cheap. So guys, just try it out, honestly. Um, I've been working on my skin because as you know from last time, I've just been breaking out like crazy. Um, a friend of mine told me just to, you know, get in touch with the doctors and just explain my situation. And so the doctors gave me some tablets. So I've been taking that and they gave me cream. Anyways, why am I talking about this? How? Right, let's go back to, I'll, I'll talk about this in the next vlog, hopefully. But, yeah, yesterday. So yesterday was London. <laughs> and a few things got cancelled, even though they were like our second set of plans. Some things we couldn't do. Uh, but it's okay, because we still had like a really good day, a really good fun day. Uh, but basically, we set off around 11.45. We didn't get there till like half full i mean we did stop off at service station because i needed a drink and i needed some food like i didn't I had breakfast at 7 a.m and then we had um dinner booked for 6 p.m so i was like okay i need something to like help me get through to 6 p.m so yeah we stopped by at the service station anyways that was only half an hour but we ended up getting to our destination at half four so imagine 12 40, no 11 45 all the way to half four like it took four hours and 15 minutes and that's not included our um our stop to um the service station it was mad and then on the way back it was just as bad it took us three hours to get home so shout out to all the designated drivers like i really appreciate you guys like i'm lucky today so i, I keep thinking about um hanan and abby who had to drive down um so yeah thank you so much girls for doing the uh, driving duty. Um, so yeah, we got there at half four. Um, because we had our dinner booked for six, we were like, you know what, we'll just head to the restaurant and then we'll find maybe a park or something nearby just to chill. Anyways, we didn't get there till like 5.45. So it took us an hour and 15 minutes to get there. So it was a good job we set off then. Um, so yeah, the place was amazing. Uh, my sister-in-law was telling me it's the sister branch for the restaurant in Manchester, the Etchy something, you know, where they like cut loads of meat and, you know, you know what I mean. If you don't, I'll I'll include a picture somewhere, right here. <laughs> um, but basically, they're the sister branch uh, and they were so nice. Uh, their drinks were good fun, they were really good. And yeah, the food was really nice, so... If you're down in London and you want to try something similar, yeah, I, I would recommend that place. Um, I mean, after the meal, we decided to um, go to the cable cars. So by this point, we were like, okay, we're not going to be able to make the art gallery. I forgot what it's called. Tape? Anyways, you know which one. I think I, I mentioned it at the beginning of this vlog. So by that point, we were like, it's not going to happen. We did have a booking from two, two till four. However, we completely missed it, but we thought we could still maybe try and catch something, maybe book it again, because they are up until 10. Um, but by then, we were like, you know what, just forget it. It's not meant to be. So that didn't happen, but it's okay because we went to the Emirates cable cars and they were really good fun. Uh, we took one way. We didn't know whether to have a return. Uh, so we decided to get a one-way trip and then get some bikes and ride back. Um, the one-way trip happened so fast. I would recommend getting a return. Um, by the time we were like done taking pictures and videos, um, the journey had ended. Um, so we didn't really get a chance to like sit there and just like, really absorb like the beautiful skyline of London. Um, so yeah, we then got off. We couldn't find any bikes. So that didn't happen. 
But by then we weren't that gutted because we were on like 15,000 steps. Um, so we had walked a lot. Um, so yeah, we ended our day with just helping my nieces unpack everything out of the cars and taking it up to their flat. Guess what I did as well? So annoying. I forgot, my, I forgot to give Helena her card. So yes, I said he'll just post it to the house first class. So hopefully she'll get it soon. It took forever to get home. Like we didn't get home until really, really late. But it was a good day trip. My soul needed it. Like I needed a break. Um, so yeah, that was our day. Yeah, my next video is also going to be a vlog. Um, Asim is turning three. Oh, it breaks my heart saying that. So he's turning three soon. So he's not going to turn three next week. It's the week after. Uh, but on Friday, I have booked Alton Towers. We're going to be staying there overnight. So I'll make sure to vlog the whole journey. That should be good fun. So yeah, that's all for today. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate the support. And yeah, that's all for today. Um, I will see you all soon. Bye.